Thank you, Ed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good evening, everyone. My name's Lockie Benstead. I'm 34, married, two kids, and I've got 20 years in the Shire. Now, I just want to acknowledge a couple of young people in the crowd. It's so good to see you. Thank you very much. It's very rare to see some young people in the crowd. It's a very important point. Yep, I'm the youngest to contest this election. But in this time, I've run three successful small businesses in the Shire and currently still do so. I've been a youth member for the Queensland Parliament of the Old Tina Tablelands, and in 2003, the ABC Funnel Queensland Haywire winner. The last two of those experiences uh, let me go down to state and federal parliament, respectively. Now, part, excuse me, part of a successful business is succession planning. Council's no different. The next generation, my generation, need to be at that table when it comes to the decision-making process. We need to be able to vote for the future. Small business is critical, and small business isn't just a shop in the main street. Council has a great role in providing the pathways and opportunities to help our small businesses grow. Every single one of us here, even tonight, is impacted by small business. Communication. We can really be a shire that embraces this concept, and I would love to see each community ha and have the council to attend out of business hours to allow you to talk to the new council, and this would be more than once a year. Communication allows for everyone to make informed decisions. I'll repeat that again. Communication allows for everyone to make informed decisions. My partial vision for Coranda is quite simple. To continue to be the tourism and small business powerhouse that it is. I see the Coranda area as the gateway to the tourism industry in our shire and it's vitally important that we're on the front foot to simply get the visitors here. Part of a new tourism campaign possibly could be, in light of what's happening now, the place to get away from it all. We're all pretty relaxed people. I think we need to emphasise that point. However, it can't all be about tourism, and part of my three keys of running is innovation. So that opens up the door for many opportunities, and some of those opportunities could be recycling, generating power, plastics, renewables, and all those types of things. I'm here for the long run. I'm not just a one-off candidate. I announced a long time ago that I would run. So rest assured, if you elect me, You'll have the opportunity to voice your concerns. If we can have a quick talk about this virus, out of something bad always comes something good. Let's use this point as an opportunity to reset, regather, take charge in promoting our area, as I mentioned before, the place to get away from it all. And finally, let's look at what we can do, not what we can't. Let's make Mariba a proactive shire, not a reactive shire. Thanks very much. <laughs>